Hi, Vasilios Camboris here, CEO and founder of Camboris Management and broker in California with NB Elite Realty. Um, I wanted to talk about this problem because this is a very interesting problem that came out of our research at Camboris Management. And it's a problem that most real estate agents won't find. You need to go so deep into the science of real estate marketing, specifically in commercial. I just wanted to talk about this problem because it's, it's really amazing. You know, this isn't something that everyone discovers unless you really go deep into the science of what a real estate agent does in the commercial field, which is, you know, you connect particularly investment portfolios, big investors, those are the best, right? Those are the ones you want to connect. But there's a problem that arises, complex webs of real estate ownership. This is what I termed the concept. And we'll go into this. It kind of goes into computer science as well, because, you know, how do you structure data, right? How do you solve this problem? To start off, you have a property. We're going to say Prop 204. You have this property, okay? Let's say a shopping center. That's what we do. And this property here has uh, two owners, okay? We're going to make up some names here. So we're going to, all of these names are fictitious. So you start with this property. Okay, you're researching this property and it's owned by these two people. Okay, so that's where you're starting. You found a shopping center. Now, you look into this owner here and you find out that Dog LLC also owns like two other properties and those properties might have other owners too. So Pear Incorporated happens to also own another property. You see where this is going? Complex webs of real estate ownership. Let's write that up here and Pear Incorporated, they own a property, and this can just keep going on. This is good and bad. It's good because one owner is leading to other properties, and that property is leading to another owner who has other properties. This is great, right? You're finding all these cool connections. The problem though is that if you're a real estate agent who's not thinking like a computer scientist, you're not gonna know how to track all this data. How do you manage all this, right? because this can keep going. We have wrote down now, I put on a spreadsheet over a thousand shopping centers in Houston. I'm looking over the data and I'm looking at who owns these properties that I wrote down. I'm researching the ownerships now and the ownerships are leading to other properties that I didn't find yet. So my research is literally multiplying. It's crazy. I'm working all day. <laughs> um, Complex webs of real estate ownership. There's one website that shows you this. I think it's called uh, corporationwiki.com or something like that. And they'll show you behind the LLC, they take it a step further and we're, we're going in this direction too. Behind the LLC is a person. And that person, person A might have like other LLCs, right? So the web gets even more complex now because the true owner of this LLC is a person. Right, and that person might have other LLCs. And it's all intertwined because this one also has a person, person two. And that guy has other LLCs. Really crazy web. So there is one website I know of that shows you this web. Now what to do with it, that's where the money is. What do you do with all this? Because the whole game is connections. If you could track all these connections and do what we're doing, which is even a step further. If you could do that, that's where the big money is, okay? If you can make use of all this data. But this is the problem that will arise if you go down the road that we're going down, which is trying to map out specific sector of the commercial real estate market. You'll find that these people own like-kind properties across the market, and they're partnered up with other people who own like-kind properties and it's this crazy web of ownership. Now, as a broker, I need to assign agents to what we call as leads here. The lead needs to have some kind of basis towards the organization of data. What is the basis of the lead? Are you structuring it off ownership or is it based on property? Because when I assign an agent to a lead, well, what about this thing? What do you do about that, right? So are you doing it off the property, which would be this as a lead, or are you doing it off the ownership? That's the problem you need to solve if you're going to try to make uh, value out of this data. 
how are you going to work on the data? How are you going to operate on this data? How are you going to use it? You can either go by the property or the ownership. And one of them, if you really think about it, is an obvious choice. It's the only way to do it. But you run into other types of problems that require a solution. We found that solution. You need to figure out how to link these connections together or you won't have cooperation between leads that bump into each other. For example, if you chose the ownership, well now you have an ownership that's bordering another property. How do you get these two agents, so right, you're gonna have agent three on here, how do you get these two agents to cooperate if there's a potential big deal here? Because maybe they both wanna sell their piece of the ownership. Or maybe one of them wants to sell and the other one wants to buy. But how do you make both parties aware? Because the agent is the one that's operating on the data. This is the person that's doing the operation on the data. How do you make them aware? The other way to do it would be by property, which is this is a lead for an agent and this is a lead for an agent. Two methods to structure the data. You could structure it by ownership or you could structure it by property. We figured out how to bridge the connection because you need to make a way that these two agents can cooperate if something happens on a shared area that they're working on. Rather it's a shared ownership or a shared property. They need to be able to cooperate with each other so that everything is cohesive and, and working. That's basically where we got. I don't know if I could talk much more on this because there's nothing more to say other than stating the problem and stating it in its full totality. And you know, the problem as a broker, there may be other people using this data for other purposes, but we're using it for real estate transactional purposes. And this is the furthest that I can really talk about this problem. We're planning to take this on a national scale where we're going to be mapping every single shopping center, strip center, and eventually we're gonna take it a step further all the other categories that we can target. And it's a big list, it's a very big list. But this is the problem we're dealing with. I just wanted to state where our research brought us because most people don't find this. Most people don't delve that far down knowledge into this field. It goes into computer science. There's no way that you can manage this problem with just people, with just Google spreadsheets, right? You need software you need software there's no other way to manage all this okay there's no other way it's it's crazy so that's the problem complex webs of real estate ownership i hope you enjoyed this video this is just a piece of the research that came out of our venture and i just wanted to share it my name is vasili thank you for watching